the Mighty Mighty Bostones will ska no more, the Boston band announced Thursday that, after nearly five decades together, they are breaking up. After decades of brotherhood, touring the world and making great records together, we have decided to no longer continue on as a band, the Mighty Mighty Bostones said in a statement on social media. Above all, we want to express our sincere gratitude to every single one of you who have supported us. We could not have done any of it without you. The band did not reveal the cause of their sudden breakup. As their Facebook page notes, they were scheduled to perform at the Slam Dunk Festival this coming June, but the split comes just days after it was revealed that a song that promoted Robert F. Kennedy's anti-vax rally in Washington, D.C. was apparently produced by Boston's frontman Dickie Barrett, or at least someone with the same name, according to the song's credits. As Rolling Stone reported this weekend, Graham Nash threatened legal action against RFK Jr. for the unauthorized interpolation of his 1971 song Chicago, We Can Change the World, in the RFK Jr. written song Heart of Freedom, which was used to promote the Sunday March. A rep for Mighty Mighty Bostones did not respond to Rolling Stone's request for comment on Saturday, following news of Barrett's apparent role in Heart of Freedom, and did not immediately respond Thursday to a request seeking more details pertaining to the band's demise. The Mighty Mighty Bostones had performed together since 1983, with singer Barrett, saxophonist Tim Johnny Vegas Burton and bassist Joe Gittleman serving as band members for the entire duration of the Bostones. Beginning with 1989's Devil's Night Out, the Boston group released 11 albums of ska punk, and notably appeared in the 1995 film Clueless, and its hit soundtrack, to perform their hit song Where'd You Go? In 1997, amid a ska revival sparked in part by the Bostones, the band scored a top 20 hit with their most enduring track, The Impression That I Get. The Bostones released their swan song, When God Was Great, in 2021.